Just a heads up, we are in a gnarly fucking time right now. Like this time is no joke. So if you are feeling crazy, if you have a bunch of crazy shit going on, if things feel chaotic, if things just feel like really freaking crazy and really abnormal and just a mess right now, you are not alone, okay? We are in some really crazy times right now. And this is what you need to know about November 2022, boo. <laughs> I'm like Now, I was looking back at my old videos last year because I was on one this time last year, okay? I was freaking on one. And I realized that I was actually feeling very, very similarly last year, this year right now. I would do these videos each month just about the month ahead and what to expect. I would make it a little bit more astrological and I'm not gonna do that in this video, although some of what I'm saying is based on astrology. But yeah, I just missed that, man. Hopefully you guys like this kind of video. If you do, I will keep doing them. So November is a month that is testing us majorly. This is a huge, huge test for so many of us. It's a culmination point of lessons we've been learning throughout most of the year this year, but especially since around April to May earlier this year in 2022. This is a time that can really bring up deep conversations. It can test your relationships. It can test your commitments. It can be a very testy energy. There's a lot of dark underlying things kind of coming up to the surface for us to look at, for us to deal with. We're really seeing where there are certain chaotic behaviors, old traits, patterns within our lives and how to simplify those patterns. And before we go any fucking farther, if you are new here, hi, hello. My name is Tani Michelle. Nice to meet you. I do a lot of spiritual, astrological manifestation, yada, yada, yada. I do a lot of spiritual shit over here on this channel. So if that's your vibe, make sure to subscribe before you leave. Also, I have a quick, exciting announcement. So don't go anywhere just yet. This freaking month, you guys, I am revamping and starting my astrological divination course. So if you want to learn relatable astrology for an actual affordable price and you can cancel at any time, I'm doing it way better, even though it was really good the first time, but I'm doing it way, way better. I'm adding so much more. I'm doing it over on my Patreon for the top membership. It's $40 a month. You can cancel at any time, but you will learn how to read your own birth chart. You will learn how to read others' birth charts. You will learn a shit ton about yourself, your life, your path, shit that you never fucking knew before. Okay. I make astrology so easy and so relatable and so easy to understand. The the first time that I ran it last year, the reviews on it are insane. Okay. If you want to check out the reviews and all of that, you can go to my website. You can go to my social media accounts. I will be posting them over the next few days because this course can literally change your life. If you know some about astrology, but you're struggling to pull it all together to read your chart. If you know nothing about astrology, but you want to learn, or if you know a lot about astrology, but you really want to understand how to really pull all of it together, you feel like you're missing something. This is for you. And again, you can cancel at any time and also be on that. That I am revamping my whole Patreon. So that is not the only thing. Even if you sign up for the astrology course, you get everything else on Patreon. So you are getting a really good fucking deal. I am coming out with so much exclusive content right now on Patreon that you don't want to miss. You can sign up for as little as $5 to start getting exclusive content. You can start picking my next videos. You can start getting extra videos. I have other memberships that will get extra spiritual friendly content. So I have a ton of stuff going on on my Patreon. You do not want to miss out. You can sign up for as little as $5 a month or you can start learning your fucking birth chart. You can start learning astrology, easy, relatable astrology that will change your life and help you get to know yourself and your life and what you're here to do on whole new levels. If that interests you, check my description below. You can actually go to my Patreon and see it all laid out there if you're confused about anything. So now other than that, I am still doing personal readings at this time, 2022 readings, or just a reading on your natal chart. I have a lot of other stuff that I do. So make sure that you're checking out the description. Anyways, with all that being out of the way, I have to plug my shit because, you know, Patreon really helps support what I do here on YouTube. Okay, so if you're not on my Patreon, what are you doing with your life, darling? Okay, back to November. November this month, you guys, is effing nuts, okay? It is effing nuts. You may think that you're going in one direction, but by like November 8th, there could be a whole new thing revealed. But what we're really seeing, what's really getting drug up in our lives right now is where we have chaos in our life, where we have unnecessary, complicated, chaotic messiness in our lives that we need to clean up. Okay, that we need to 
freaking clean up. <laughs> the North Node is in Taurus. We are moving towards a more simplified, beautiful, pleasurable, comfortable existence rather than a messy, complicated, chaotic one. So if you have toxic shit within your life, if you have toxic patterns, if you have shit from the past, if you have whatever, all of that stuff could be coming up this time for you to do something new with it. And if you haven't seen my Scorpio solar eclipse video from like a week ago, go fucking watch that. Go watch that. That is important. Watch the beginning of it. It's basically what started November, even though it was at the end of October. But the very beginning of November starts off with a lot of past karmic stuff coming up. So there could be things from the past resurfacing, topics or conversations from the past, people from the past, relationships from the past, unexpected shit just coming up from the damn past <laughs> that you need to face. Fears coming up from the past. You know, this first part of November can feel very ominous. It can feel kind of creepy. Like there's like this underlying creepy tone and like, yes, it's Halloween and everything, but it can be like especially creepy. Just if you're feeling that you're not alone, it's okay. We're in Scorpio season and the way I describe Scorpio is like a black still lake. How ominous like a black still lake is or deep dark water, right? That's the kind of energy like we can't really see very well because it's dark and we don't know what's coming and where. What November is really all about is making friends with your darkness. It is about getting comfortable in the fucking dark, right? No longer fighting the dark, no longer resisting the dark, no longer trying to go against the dark. It is about getting all the way fucking comfortable and real and vulnerable with yourself and making friends with your monsters, making friends with those inner demons. That's not to say that if you have the urge to do something that's very toxic that you should do it. No, you need to get to the root of why you have that urge and face that, make friends with that, right? That's what I'm saying. And this is something I go in a lot of depth about in programs and, you know, in workshops that I have on my Patreon and stuff like that. So if you'd like to know more about that, you definitely can. A lot is being exposed in the first like week of November. There's so much being exposed. There's so much coming to light. There's so much coming to the surface. There's so much that's just kind of coming out of the dark and it can be a lot and it can feel messy it can feel overwhelming it can feel like what the fuck is this what am i doing why is this happening to me and it can just bring up a lot of com complications or just in general a sense of edginess we may not all the way see everything that's coming up right now right away like it may not be apparent to all of you watching this right now what is happening but it will be by november fucking 8th okay by november 8th is when things get crazy from like the 6th to the 8th because we will have Mercury on the south node, the sun on the south node, which will expose things, it will bring information, it will bring clarity, it will bring things to light from the past that we weren't quite aware of or information from the past out. This could be a lot of like secrets being exposed for a lot of people, but we will be able to see clearly what needs to change and what needs to shift. So this will definitely be a time that we are having massive revelations, like massive deep fucking revelations, okay? And that happens literally a couple days before the Taurus lunar eclipse on the 8th, okay? And literally like I wrote down my notes, they are like so ripped up by now because I wrote them down like the end of last year in 2021. But I literally wrote here, lunar eclipse in Taurus, in parentheses, nuts, exclamation point. <laughs> it's nuts, okay? It's, it's fucking nuts. Because this eclipse is literally on Uranus, which brings a lot of instability. It brings a lot of randomness, a lot of suddenness, a lot of really sudden, surprising, or even shocking events that can happen or twist or turns. But it can also liberate us from the past. So we are seeing where we need to find more freedom, find liberation from these complicated past, past messiness, this past chaos that is like holding us down, that is holding us back, that just has its hold on us, where we are not facing certain fears and where we need to face certain fears to be able to break free and liberate ourselves to simplify our life, right? We are going towards more simplification instead of so much complication, so much chaos. So a great way to think about the, the nodal axis where it is right now in Taurus and Scorpio is like this. We are decreasing increasing in chaos and complication and we are increasing in simplicity, right? Simplicity, what's natural, what's comfortable. And so wherever you have chaos, wherever you're like attached to the chaos or whether you're like feeding off the chaos, you have to let that go. 
right? And I know that can be hard. Some people can be dealing with old situations that are chaotic that they're now having to face. I get that, but still, how can you simplify it? How can you not get too caught up in the chaos of all of it, right? It's like a tornado versus a cow. <laughs> I don't know, but like a tornado, you know, and like a great plane, you know, like we're trying to be on the great plane where things are stable instead of in the tornado. This lunar eclipse is going to come with major, major breakthroughs. Seeing aware certain things are holding us back and where we may need to break out of certain commitments or situations that are keeping us stuck or stagnant and where we need to take responsibility for something or own up to something. And I'm going to talk more about that in the Taurus Lunar Eclipse video that's going to be coming out very, very soon. So make sure that you're subscribed and your notifications are on because you do not want to miss that video. So the middle part of the month, we start having a little bit more faith, a little bit more hope in our situations. We start really seeing where we've had to have hard conversations or things that we've had to express have not went our way or have been maybe rejected or something along those lines. But at the same time, you know, us seeing where these walls are in our lives helps us because now we have hope. Now we have an awareness of what we are shedding, what we are moving through, what needs to end so we can really embrace our lives in a way that feels more liberating and free and aligned with who we are. So that's basically like the middle of November. And then as we get towards the end of November, we get into a lot more hope optimism, more forward thinking. We're finally feeling like, okay, I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to take action on the things that give me purpose, that leave me feeling fired up, the things that actually that I believe in, right? Like we start feeling so much more forward momentum by the end of the month. And it finally feels like a, a, a massive shift is happening by the end of the month. So it's mainly this first, these first like this first week or two in November that can really be very turbulent for a lot of people. And then as we get to the middle of the month, we're kind of filled with so much more faith and optimism because we have a lot of Neptune and Jupiter trines happening from these planets in Scorpio. So we're seeing through the darkness, literally seeing that light at the end of the tunnel. And we're seeing that, okay, we finally made it. Like we were finally purging and shedding these things and we feel like it has a purpose now, right? Like we're not just feeling this doom or this fear, or this panic or this terror for no reason. Like it actually has a fucking purpose now. And now we can move forward by the end of the month as we get into Sag season and Jupiter goes direct and you know, all of these things start happening and we just get this massive boost of forward momentum and motivation. And so that is basically November and what you need to know about November. Let me know down below if anything I said in this video related to you or was what you needed to hear for this month. Feel free to come back to this video and watch it throughout the month if you need a reminder on what the fuck's going on this month, what this month is about. If you feel like something's crazy, crazy is going on or you forget or whatever, come back to this video through the month so you know what the fuck is up. Now, if you have a lot of chaos going on the first couple weeks of November, then, you know, this is pointing to you embracing more simplicity, you facing these certain fears, you finding your inner power. And if you need help finding your inner power, I just did a video right before this one. It's up on my channel about finding your inner power and it will change your life if you truly listen, are open to it and actually embrace what I'm saying and do what I talk about in that video, you will find your inner power. So definitely go watch that if you have not seen that video yet, because you are way more powerful than you think you are. And if you want to be empowered as fuck, go watch that video. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for being here. Again, I would love to have you join my Patreon. Let's keep the party going. Make sure to join my Patreon. Everything's down below, whether you want to join the astrology course and start learning about your birth chart or just get exclusive content. There's a member, there's all kinds of different memberships and really affordable ones. So I love you guys. I will see you very, very soon in my next video.